Hi, my name is Bob Serafini. I'm a resident of Monroeville. Ditto what that man said. <laughs> he said. He said much more eloquently what I wanted to say tonight. What I wanted to say, I think we should table this another month because you have all these people, and like he said, he talked to one of the commissioners, I mean, one of the people at the, uh, the state for the turnpike. I got the same answer from another guy. Their money is not appropriated. They do not know what they're doing yet. And like I said, I think that uh, Mr. Little ought to talk to him, Mr. John Romano again, who he's been dealing with, and see what they can do as opposed to, you know, just delaying it a little bit till we finalize it. Now, other than that, I'm opposed to going to these four pools around the municipality. Mr. Duncan asked for an estimate on what a pool would cost two months in a row. Have you ever gotten a, uh, an answer what the pool would cost? Uh, yes, we in our packets we received a um, estimate, but I don't think it's my idea of an estimate as far as I'd like to see a replacement of Bel Air. So it would be a pool, uh, split block faced, uh, dressing rooms, you know, restrooms, all handicap accessible. This looks like the Taj Mahal. I don't know if we have a picture of it or whatever. But I was looking. For it came in at uh, four point. Something. Well, four point two, four point two million to replace one that's similar to Bel Air, and then the one that Mr. Duncan is referring to is seven point four million. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So four I mean, point. I don't one know, is I similar see to the Bel Air. Replacement one, but yes, we're not asking no, for. We're I'm not asking this. for some elaborate. <clears throat> I don't think most of the people behind me are either. Because Bel Air isn't that elaborate. I mean, it's beautiful, but yeah. it's something it's in that category. Everybody can use. And I can't see $7 million. Yes. And like I said, when Mr. Osinko last night, he said there was a lot of things that happened at that pool he was not aware of, such as, I must say, the, the parties and things of that. Have. I think a lot of the people, you know, don't know about that in the municipality. And he brought up a good point when he talked to that. A lot of people don't know about that. And I think we ought to keep that. And I think Mr. Little ought to talk to Mr. Romano again and see if we can delay the sale of it at least another year until we figure out something more to do. Best. Now, I've heard the fact that you want to go to the four pools in the municipality. That was one thing that you said, Mayor, that you wanted to do. <clears throat> I've heard another thing that they wanted to get one pool. Now, is there anybody who wants to discuss that one? Because you've said about the four pools that you want to divide the wealth on that. No, I did not say that. Well, basically, you said I said uh, we would we were going to set up a committee to talk to the other the private four pools, clubs, yes. But nothing is off the table as far as the project, if there is a potential project down the road. Well, is there one project where you're going to go with one pool? That committee has not met yet with the private pools and the other swim team in the Barracudas and all the other uh, swim clubs in the community. So there's no plan to go with just one pool. Not saying that that's not out of the question, but there at this point there is no plan. Well, once again, I'm asking you to table this tonight to let Mr. Little talk to Mr. Romano out there, who he's been dealing with for over a year. Now, if we're, he's been dealing with him for over a year, and you brought this to our attention three months ago, I don't think another month is going to hurt. <coughs> so would you please consider that everybody tonight about tabling it one more month and let him have another shot at it. Thank you.